So now we're going to have a look at three examples of where things have gone badly wrong in the world because of misconceptions or deliberate misconceptions. Okay, let, let's look at the first image. Now, although this happened a long time ago now, it seems, and many of you were, were young and um, uh, would not have been old enough to realise the full extent. Can anyone tell me what that picture shows? What, what exactly is happening there? Okay, would you like to tell us what that is? Um, Twin Towers. It's the Twin Towers. And can you tell the class what, what happened um, on that day, that fateful day? Um, wasn't there like um, terrorists? Like, um, they like flew planes into it and like it collapsed? Absolutely, absolutely. Terrorists hijacked um, planes in the US and then flew them into uh, the Twin Towers. The actual uh, facts make terrible, terrible uh, reading. Uh, excluding the 19 hijackers, 2,974 people died. Let me just ask you this. When, when you see that, what, what, what are the initial feelings, thoughts, emotions that, that come to mind there? What are they? I think it's quite disturbing. Like, it's, it's not right. Yes, I, I know exactly what you mean. The showman here. I think it's very sad because uh, these are just unsuspecting people who just went to work one day and then they're dead and, uh, in a few minutes after entering their workplace because uh, a plane has crashed into them and they didn't know they were going to die and they've done nothing to offend the hijackers, so why should they die? Absolutely. Uh, we, we talked about fairness and equality at the beginning of this lesson and it doesn't seem right, just, fair that innocent people are slaughtered in this way. Let's look at the next image and see what, what you think of this one. Does anyone know anything about that particular image? Yes, show man? Uh, it's the 7-7 seven, seven bombings. The 7-7 seven, seven bombings, okay. And, and what exactly happened um, on that day there and was, where? It was in London and there were suicide bombers on like, the underground and the buses in London. Absolutely right. Let's, let's have a look at some of the the innocence that, that suffered on that day. Sam Lee was 28. Um, she was from Melbourne. She was simply visiting London. Gladys Wundoa, 50 years of age. She was from Ilford in Essex and she was a cleaner at the University College in London. She had finished her shift and was heading to her college course in Shoreditch. Shahara Akhtar Islam, 20 years of age, also from East London. A devout Muslim. She was a bank cashier who lived with her parents. She died, age 20, on that day. Even now, when I read this, I become quite emotional by the lives of the people that have been affected. Let, let's have a look at the last one. Um, yes, young man. Um, it happened in Nairobi in Kenya in the middle of the day. And yes. Terrorists just came to them all and just started killing different people who they chose. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Anyone else has any information about that? Yes, young man. They said that anyone who was a Muslim could stand up and leave and then they killed anyone else. That was, that was non-Muslim. What, what feelings do you have? Um, I don't understand why someone would want to do that, because if in your faith um, you believe everyone should be equal, why would you kill someone just for having a different belief than you? Absolutely, absolutely. And any, any other comment about that? Yes, young lady. It also makes Muslims look bad to other religions and other beliefs when many of them are like innocent and haven't done anything. Let me just pick up on that because that's hugely important and Sheikh and I have discussed that uh, and it's a concern for Muslims. There's one word that um, describes hatred for Muslims. This young lady is a Muslim. These atrocities were committed by Muslims, therefore I hate this person who is a Muslim. What would, what would, that, what would that word be? Islamophobia. Islamophobia. 
Okay. Let me ask you this in, in, to, to conclude. Do you feel, as a Muslim living in this country, at this point in time, have you ever felt that you have been discriminated against? Or have you ever felt that people hate you for what you are? Well, sometimes, y yeah. But um, many people do understand. Well, many people do understand? Yeah. Okay, thanks very much. If, if you look at these pictures, you think that these people who've committed these crimes think that it is allowed to kill anyone who disagrees with you in faith, isn't it? But that is wrong because faith is all about uh, nonviolence, is all about respect, is all about accepting diversity, isn't it? You cannot kill anyone because of what he or she believes. You cannot kill anyone because of how she or he looks, isn't it? So the, these violent actions have occurred because of misunderstanding or deliberate distortions of Islam due to the lack of a holistic understanding, due to the lack of qualification, due to misinformed ideas about the faith, isn't it? And in order to be able to face this, in order to be able to correct this, we need to uh, make sure that our sources of no knowledge about Islam are genuine sources, we don't pick it up from the internet, we don't get it from non-qualified people, and we have the full right to ask a person who speaks in the name of the faith, what are your qualifications? Just like, I can, before I go to the doctor, I need to know if that doctor has, does actually have a degree in medicine or not. My teacher always says, you can read a magazine about medicine for 17 years, but that does not make you a doctor, does it? 